Oh, hey y'all, welcome back to Noah's Arkansas Homestead, where I'm on adventure, going off the grid. Well, I think today, I'm going to start a new category, more of a bushcrafting category. The thing is going on today, with these natural disasters, and uh, um, just shows that everything you have can just be gone, just like that. Even if you're a prepper, you uh, have stacks of food, gangs can come in and take it all away, just like that. So, I want to show you something. A oh, freeze! No, it's not a gun. No, it's actually a fire piston, where you somehow mix a spark with pressure. It's not the craziest thing. I guess it's kind of like a... Uh, diesel engine that don't have spark plugs. <laughs> Get your mind about that. So, I'm going to try to start a fire and make some uh, char cloth. So, let's go. Okay, this is like a, a kit you can just get off of Amazon. I believe it's a PS Cook. Um, sell one. It doesn't have a... I think they had their name on it now. But yes, I got this from my uncle last uh, Christmas. My uh, pyromaniac uncle. Because <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Um, so yes, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, We're going to try it out. Yeah, very well put together. Solid brass... Solid aluminum, um, yeah, real nice fittings. Okay, and it comes with some stuff, some char cloth, and um, looks like some easy stuff to, to to light. Some more of these little gasset things, and uh, some grease. Uh, and I think it also usually comes with some paracord. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. And the main thing, you know, you find a... Uh, that's the end. This is the... Uh, sometimes this can get compressed. And you have to release the pressure. So you want that... Make it hard to slide out. And that's where you put your char cloth. And it has, sometimes, like, if you leave this in too long, it'll flatten these uh, gaskets out. You might have to replace these. So, let's see here. You know, eventually, uh, in the, maybe, what do they call, Tiawaki, there may not be more uh, butane lighters. I guess... If you had like an old school Zippo, you could uh, make turpentine from pine trees. But uh, that's kind of a lot of work. Making char cloth is pretty easy. So I'm not sure what this uh, stuff is. Uh, this char cloth. It's almost like charred board. But I found it works the best for me uh, so far. Let's try it. All right, let's try it against a bigger tree. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this, uh, this grease on. Maybe it kind of help seal it up. Yeah, make it slide faster. Let's try that. All right, let's slam it. Oh, it worked. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get a fire going.
Okay, there we go. And then now for the... How did that other end light? Put it out. Huh. Well, this is just lit. Okay, so this little rope piece is kind of keeping it going. Ah, hot. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off there. Save the rest of this. Cause this looks like it's nice and lit. It's more his hair stuff. Oh. It's trying. Ah, it's hot. Whoa, here we go. And we have fire! Okay, got a little twigs. Probably smother it. Ah, oh, smother me. Okay, I got a little piece of uh, fat wood. What do they call it? Also, uh, pine knot. Let's get that going. Got a whole big piece of it. Well, I'm not going to burn all that. I'm just trying to get enough to. There we go. Little piece there. Yeah, almost lost it there for a minute. All right, let's get this little piece of pine knot going. And I'm going to try to make my own char cloth. Uh, I got a, a piece of uh, burlap. I'm going to see what, what that does add to my carbon collection. Char cloth collection. I would say I was trying to think if I should drill a hole in this or not. But you know, it's not like screwed down tight. And there's probably a little bit of air gapage in between, so I'm not gonna blow up on me. So I'm gonna try it. Oh. There we go. You know, because the whole point of uh, making char cloth is to cut off the oxygen while you burn it. Kind of makes a chemical reaction. Okay, I'm going to call that done. Been on there for quite a while. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit. I don't know, I found some water. I put it out. Hopefully no water gear can get in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Okay. I think we made some char cloth. I bet that's gonna light real good. You hit it real fast with this lighter, see what happens. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. I'm also gonna try to do some just regular cotton cloth. I was doing the Altoids can, hoping that it fit in here. Let's see if I can combine some stuff. So. Okay, there we go. I'll back in. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to doing this uh, new bushcraft series with y'all. And, uh, you know, uh, learning a new skill is really about the only thing they can ever take away from you. Because once you know it, you know it. All right, guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. <laughs> y'all, blessed day. Bye.